In this video, we're going to be taking a look how to configure the Virus AG and Logic Pro X to work along together. But before we go into it, um, I would recommend to go to our videos and check out the um, Windows and Mac OS configuration guide for the MIDI setup and routing in DAW. So to make sure that everything's properly connected and so on. But um, let's go to Proge Logic Pro X and um, see how everything's done in there, in my case. So first of all, I've got um, audio tracks here, which are ready to take in signal from, from my viruses. And um, there are two ways to insert the plugin. Or actually, yeah, two. Um, one is to create a single instrument track and um, assign MIDI tracks to go right into the hardware. So I'm going to do this with the virus C. So I'm just going to create one track, no multi temporal selected. Then I'm going to take the virus AG. and multi settings virus c range that's selected exit and um, i'm just going to close this for now we'll get to the settings a bit later but next up i'm going to create uh, external midi tracks and i'm going to put these to point towards the virus c desktop and in this case i'm going to create 16 tracks so each of the parts on a virus gets its own MIDI track. Right. Uh, then we've got the second option, which is to create multi-temporal instrument track. And we are going to create one track again, but multi-temporal and 16 parts. Now there's 16 instrument tracks, but they're all pointing to different MIDI channel. Uh, for the virus C plugin, we just want to make sure that MIDI channel is set to all. And all of these are automatically being assigned to channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So let's get the virus AG for this one as well. Go to multi settings and choose the model. So this is for the virus TI. And again, I'm not going to assign the MIDI in and out just yet. Before that, I'm going to go into my Logic Pro environment, click on pods, and I'm going to remove this cable right here so that I can assign my master keyboard. MIDI coming into my DAW. So I'm using CS6X. So now that I've got the cable there, I can see the nodes coming in and whatever I do in my virus or virus uh, TI, it doesn't get into the DAW. So I'm blocking the MIDI, uh, all the MIDI messages and MIDI data coming from the viruses into my DAW. This makes the plugin work a lot better. So let's try to zoom that in. There we go. Now we can go to the virus AG plugin and assign the MIDI in and MIDI out. So like I've explained earlier, you need to have a direct connection with the virus and make sure that MIDI out from the MIDI device goes to MIDI in on a virus and from virus MIDI out it comes back to the MIDI device MIDI input. Okay, so MIDI in and out is set. Now I can go to Patch Browser and click Synchronize Data from Hardware. And this is going to fetch all of the arrangement data, what is currently open in a virus. If you want to start from scratch, um, you can obviously start 
going through the batches the way you want. But in my case, I'm I'm just going to click sync synchronize data from hardware and it will get to current data uh, into my plugin. So there's virus C, as we can see, there's all of the parts they they are being received from the virus. And if I want to play parts, I just go to any of these parts. like so and let's get the virus AG which is uh, selected for the virus TI and we'll do the same uh, we can choose the MIDI in and out in my case I'm using the regular MIDI instead of the USB connection because it works a lot better so now we get the plugin is ready to go the date has been received and if I go to synchronize data from hardware, it's going to give me all of the current data from my virus DI. And uh, let's wait that to complete. There we go. Now, in this case, when we are using the multi-temporal instrument, uh, there's a little difference. When I play some uh, notes, we can see the uh, channel indicator blinking on a plugin, displaying where the data is being sent. But there's a little catch. Um, when we route the MIDI from DAW into the plugin, it's going to cause external, well, the plugin internal processing, which again is a bit taxing on a CPU. So uh, that's the reason why I recommend to set up the MIDI out going directly from the DAW into your hardware and do automation on the instrument track. So there's the options. Uh, you can then create your nodes uh, or blocks, whatever you call them, uh, actually right here on the MIDI channels. So you get to have different kind of stuff going on in uh, in in those channels, and um, same thing here. You can do that with the uh, virus TI plugin as you go. Uh, then automation, um, we can do automation uh, right here. You can go to each part and choose whatever you want to automate. Let's say I want to take uh, noise color. And if I'll do the automation, I can see the plugin is reacting to this parameter. And we can see the parameter moving right there. So we can just draw the automation and hit play and it's going to do the automation. Then you can go to channel two and obviously choose part two and say, um, we want to automate amplifier envelope attack. Again, same thing here. We can do the automation and hit play. And this will now reflect in, in a part two. All right, so that's uh, that's the one way of doing it. And then we have this virus C plugin here. And now you can do the automation the same way as you did for the virus DI. But if you want to add more automation tracks, you want to add the automation right here so that they are all kind of um, stacked up or however you call it but um, yeah it's a bit trickier you need to go through all of the different automations like this in order to view all the automation or then you can use this little function in a virus uh, sorry logic pro to view all of the different parts 
separately. So there we go. As we can see, the automation is changing and same thing here. Right, uh, total recall. Um, if I want to save this project, then all of this data, current data is saved within the project. And next time when I go to open recent and open the project, it's going to send all of this data into the MIDI port selected right here. So if you have your MIDI interface unplugged, it's not going to work and it might throw you an error. But um, make sure that the MIDI interfaces are connected and the viruses are powered up before you go to recalling your project. So that's how this works and um, we hope this video helps out how to set up the virus and virus TI in your project. Okay, uh, in next video we're going to take a look how to use the librarian functions with the virus HG. So see you soon.